The Chase Line is a suburban railway line in the West Midlands region of England. It runs from its southern terminus, Birmingham New Street, to Walsall, and then Rugeley in Staffordshire. The name of the line refers to Cannock Chase which it runs through at its northern end. Overview The line from Birmingham to Walsall has two alternative routes, both electrified at 25 kV AC overhead. One leaves New Street to the east, following the cross city line as far as Aston, where it diverges to the west. The other leaves to the west, and travels via Soho. Beyond Walsall, the line is not electrified, and continues north to Hitnesford and Rugeley. This section was freight only, and reopened to passenger trains in stages between 1989 and 1998. Places served on the route are listed below. For information on the stations, please refer to the list in the route map. Chase Line, Ridgely, Hitnesford, Cannock, Great Wiley, Landywood, Bloxwich, Walsall, Walsall Line, Walsall, Bescott, Stone Cross, Hampstead, Perrybar, Witten, Aston, Duddeston, Birmingham New Street. Services then continue onwards to Wolverhampton via the Rugby Euro Birmingham Euro Stafford Line. Passenger trains are operated by London Midland on behalf of Centro. Services Monday to Saturday daytime there are four trains per hour from Birmingham New Street to Walsall. Two per hour run via Aston and Call at all stations, the other two per hour run direct via Soho and Call at Tame Bridge Parkway and Walsall. Two of these per hour continue to reach Lee Trent Valley during peak hours, dropping to one per hour off peak. Monday to Saturday evenings and all day Sunday there are two trains per hour between Walsall and Birmingham and an hourly service to reach Lee Trent Valley. Class 323 electric multiple units are used for services on the electrified section between Birmingham and Walsall. The services which continue beyond Walsall on the non-electrified stretch to originally use Class 170 diesel multiple units Some services also utilize Class 153 units in partnership with the Class 170s. Two daily services operate between Walsall and Liverpool Lime Street. History The line via Aston, Perry Bar and Bescott is the former Grand Junction Railway, opened in 1837. The section between Walsall and Cannock was constructed by the South Staffordshire Railway. The section between Cannock and Rugeley was constructed by the Cannock Mineral Railway. Equals reopening equals, the line between Walsall and Rugeley Trent Valley closed to passengers in 1965, remaining open to freight, although until the 1980s it was not unknown for diverted intercity passenger services from Birmingham to Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow etc. to use the line in the event of the Wolverhampton Stafford route being shut for Sunday or late evening engineering work. It reopened in stages, as follows, April 10, 1989 a Euro Walsall to Hitnesford, June 2, 1997 a Euro Hitnesford to Ridgely Town, May 25, 1998 a Euro Ridgely Town to Stafford, December 12, 2008 a Euro Chase Line trains are withdrawn from the Stafford and have been cut back to Ridgely Trent Valley on West Coast Main Line. Equals electrification equals, the lines between New Street and Walsall were electrified in 1966 as an offshoot of the West Coast Main Line electrification, along with the Walsall to Wolverhampton Line. On July 16, 2012. The coalition government announced the overhead electrification of the Chase Line between Rugeley Trent Valley and Walsall, with work scheduled to take place from 2014, with an estimated completion date of December 2017. It is estimated to cost around A36 million pounds, as part of AA 9.4 billion pounds package of investment in the railways in England and Wales, including A4.2 billion pounds of new schemes, unveiled by the government. The electrification was first discussed in the early 1960s, but funding was secured by Aidan Burley Northern Mariana Islands for Cannock Chase in February 2013 after his adjournment debate on June 14, 2012. Electrification work is due to start in late 2013. The electrification of the line will be accompanied by a speed increase from the current 45 miles per hour to 75 miles per hour. Bloxwich level crossing will be closed to motorised traffic, the bridge at Central Drive north of the crossing being strengthened and widened to improve the alternative route. 
This will enable the current 20 miles per hour speed limit to be lifted. It will also enable the line to transport W10 freight containers. Preliminary work to resignal the route ahead of electrification was completed in August 2013, with the closure of the three remaining manual signal boxes at Bloxwich, Hitnesford and Brereton sidings and the panel boxes at Walsall and Bescott. Control of the area passed to the West Midlands SCC at Saltley. For residents of the area, the changes will mean reduced journey times and reduced overcrowding to Birmingham and the surrounding areas, as well as the introduction of new services to Birmingham International, Coventry, Liverpool Lime Street and even the possibility of a direct service to London Euston. The electrification itself will create over 1,300 jobs in the area and generate a further a £113 million of gross value-added benefit per annum, as well as reducing the operating costs of the line. In May 2014, London Midland announced that it was intending to run longer trains on the route, requiring station platforms to be extended to accommodate. Controversy over electrification, Gavin Williamson, Conservative MP for South Staffordshire, has campaigned to limit the speed of trains through Great Wiley and Cheslin Hay when the upgrade work of the line is complete. He has written to Transport Secretary Patrick McLellan, requesting confirmation that trains travelling through these areas will not exceed a speed of 45 miles per hour. He has also requested that environmental mitigation measures be put in place to reduce the potential impact of the electrification on residents in South Staffordshire. Network Rail has previously said that electric trains are quieter, greener and cleaner, reducing carbon emissions. References A Century of Railways Around Birmingham and the West Midlands, Volume 3, 1973-1999, John Boynton. Quail Railway Track Diagrams, Volume 4, Midlands and Northwest. External Links, The Chase Line. Notice of motion to electrify the chase line.